Hey guys, how's it going? It's Movies with Bruce, and as you can see, we're in the ferret room tonight. We got ferrets crawling around everywhere. I'll give you a reason why here in just a minute. Hey baby, that's because I a girl. Yeah. <laughs> but all good things must come to an end, right? And on uh, Super Talk, we're all missing Scotty Campbell. So Scotty, buddy, we wish you all the luck in the world, and I hope everything goes okay for you. And we miss you, and we love you. So, but let's talk about movies for a few minutes. That, that's what we do on Movies with Bruce, isn't it? Talk about movies. Um, Adam Aaron, CEO of AMC, says that he hopes that the movie theaters will be back open about mid-June. So, we'll see. But the bad news is, Sony has taken the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife, and they moved it from July 10th. They moved it all the way to March 5th next year, guys. That's crazy, isn't it? All right, what about Warner Brothers Wonder Woman? Oh, no. No, Wonder Woman. Well, speaking of Wonder Woman, there's Mocha. <laughs> hey, Mocha, baby. Mwah. Wonder Woman has been moved from June of this year in a hopeful slot of August of this year. So, we'll see. Remember me telling you about Twin City Drive-In? You want to go see a movie? Yeah. Twin City Drive-In is open. They're open April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th only. We're showing Onward at 8 p.m. We reviewed that movie, a very good, very funny movie as well. And Underwater with Kristen Stewart. It's showing at 9.45, and we reviewed that movie back a ways too. Now, I hear, you might want to check the website, you might want to be ready for this, but I hear Twin City might be cash only. I don't know that. So check that out. But Twin City's open. What's going on at Redbox? Redbox has always got some hot movies, don't they? 1917 war movie that we talked about. Jumanji, I didn't see that, or The Grudge, but I hear they're both good. But I tell you what I did see that is at Redbox is Richard Jewell. Oh my gosh, the Clint Eastwood movie about the bombing at the Olympics. Dude, you got to see that. That's at Redbox. All right. Now, April the 2nd is a very important day to me, yeah, obviously, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do that for men here, and I've got these guys crawling around everywhere. April 2nd, which is tomorrow, which this is review is for, to, for April the 2nd, is National Ferret Day. Well, that's right. It is. Look it up. Now, that's not an April Fool's joke. That's, that's dead serious. It is National Ferret Day. What I want you to do, I'm going to give you a couple of movies, okay, because ferrets have been in actually a lot of movies. So I'm going to give you a couple movies and I want you to tell me the scene that the ferret was in and what was going on in the movie when you saw the ferret. All right, now check this out. Comment down below and tell me where you saw the ferret in Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. Where did you see a ferret? Next, Lord of the Rings. The King Will Return. No, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, that one right there. Tell me where you saw a ferret in that movie. How about The Golden Compass? And I think that's a 007 star, is it not, in The Golden Compass? So where did you see a ferret? I see a ferret right now. In The Golden Compass. What are you giving me sugar for? <laughs> okay, how about Along Came Polly? How about that? You can check that movie out and tell me where did you see the ferret? And last but not least, and there's other films that have ferrets in them, but last but not least, if you're going to get up here, get up there, because I <laughs> she's a crazy girl tonight. But last but not least, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Kindergarten Cop. It's not a tumor. Well, maybe it is a tumor. I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's a ferret on your neck. Maybe that's what it is. All right, Kindergarten Cop, Along Came Polly, Golden Compass, Lord of the Ring, and Harry Potter. Tell me where you saw the ferret in those movies, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to give you a description. This is a ferret. That is Kazaya. She's one of, one of my smaller ones. But I want you to understand what a ferret is on National Ferret Day, okay? But this is how I would describe a ferret to you, and ferrets are in movies. They're as playful as a kitten. They're as loyal as a dog. They have the curiosity of a toddler with the skills <laughs> of a ninja and the logic of a Vulcan. 
that pretty well describes the seven ferrets that I currently have in my house. So, movies with Bruce. I just told you that Ghostbusters has been postponed. Wonder Woman has been postponed. Other movies are going to be postponed as well. But, look at Twin City Drive-In. If you got Twin City Drive-In there in Bristol, if it's close to you, they're going to have a couple of movies this weekend. They've got some great concession stands as well. So, <laughs> I want you to tell me a movie that you've seen a ferret. And I want you to meet Shiloh. That's my big old boy right there. Guys, give me five minutes and I'll give you a great movie. Movies with Bruce. We miss you, Scotty Campbell. We love you, buddy. Take care of yourself. And I hope everything on your bid for the House of Representatives goes well. And we all want you to see the other side of that. And we want you to do a good job for us. Movies with Bruce. Go to Twin City. Keep your six foot of space. Remember, you got to be six foot apart. Take care of yourself. God bless you. And we love you. And happy National Ferret Day. Show me your pictures of your ferrets, too.